I thought I would just spend a few minutes to show you how quick and easy and fun it is to make um, characters with Sluggish Moors the Tabletop RPG. Almost everything is done using D6s, sometimes it's D66, where that will be the tens and that will be the units. But first of all, let's see what type of being we are. Three. Um, we are an Urgurgle Gnotep Flangetic, a UGF. So these are kind of um, hologrammy type people. The, um, so to create your UGF, roll a d6 on the relevant charts to determine the pattern, physicality, and aura. One funny thing about them is they're really, really heavy. So you've got to watch out for them. Although they're beings made of light, uh, hologram things, they're really heavy. So we need to roll on pattern, physicality, and aura. Um, pattern, we've got headache-inducing... Oh, you can't see the dice rolls. That's annoying. Well, it was a one. Um, headache-inducing geomet geometric shapes. Physicality. Can you see if I do there? There we are. Another one. Minimal physical form, or like glittery light, or visible shimmering radio waves. And finally, our aura is six. Indigo child, so usually sixes are good, ones are less good, but it's not as, as obvious as that. Um, so, all of these are more elaborated on the treasure section. So if we see here, what did we have? Um, oh, can you see that all right? Yeah, headache. So we've got plus one to id. Um, we can cause headaches <clears throat> using that. Physicality. We can move as dust in the air, a superego. So we got bonuses to superego and id, which is quite interesting. Things aren't uh, binary in this. An aura, indigo child, so a lot of spirit. He goes into aura further along, but to not waste too much time, we'll go into the profession. So we've got two, an artist, how nice. So let's see what type of artist we are. Six, a designer. Um, designers, what type of designer? One, the compulsive addictive. There is a dangerous type of design that leads to a clinging fever, an endless desire to fulfill the needs of hypothetical design. Those brave designers that give in to the fever are known as a compulsive addictive. To the compulsive addictive, there is only the design and the intricacies therein. Everything else becomes secondary to the detrimental health and personal hygiene. And there we are, that's our character.